What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. My last video did get messed up with the audio and it wasn't that good of quality. So I, what I did is I'm going to go ahead and redo it. I'm going to have all the images, better high quality images at that. And we're going to discuss all the things that were shown on the panel because the last video did get messed up. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first figures that we have right here, guys, is the phenomenal AJ Styles from WrestleMania 34. One of my favorite attires he's ever worn. Could be my favorite, possibly. It's just so unique. The light blue, black, and gray just really pops off with the white accents. Just freaking sweet, nasty. But uh, you also have the uh, Seth Rollins. We have a Seth Rollins from the Royal Rumble 2018. It does suck, though, that uh, I just made that custom literally less than a month ago, and now we are getting an official one, so that kind of sucks because now my custom will pretty much be a waste. But um, I don't know. I'm glad we're getting a new Seth Rollins head scan. It looks great. I am very excited for that. Maybe we won't have to track down the Elite 37 anymore. Also... The Shinsuke Nakamura on the far right, we have the red pants with the black stripes, so we pretty much almost have every single Shinsuke Nakamura attire once that one releases. Um, I, I can't think of a different attire besides maybe Survivor Series and then WrestleMania with his gold accents, but anyways, these are three great elite figures. Next up, we have three more elites. We have the Bludgeon Brothers that look absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait for those. Luke Harper will come with his hammer. I would guess that Rowan would come with his hammer. It's not shown here, but I guess that is uh, something we will see. And then, of course, we have Finn Balor from WrestleMania 34 in his Finn Balor for Everyone attire. I hope that that's a WrestleMania elite later on, like the WrestleMania 35 elites. I hope that's part of that line. So they'll just fill up the stores, guys, and I can buy like 20 of them, and I can knock out all my Finn Balor attires that I'd like to do. That would be beautiful to see if that is indeed what they do. I cannot wait to see if that's a WrestleMania 35 Elite, guys, because I'm just so excited to knock out all the Finn customs. But he is going to come with his jacket with the uh, custom, uh, you know, the emblem on the back. And if you noticed, every single figure that we've shown so far has interchangeable hands. That is because every figure from now on is going to have interchangeable hands. This is a huge step in the process for WWE Elite figures, guys. That is such a big deal because, you know, Marvel Legends and Hasbro has done that for the longest time, and now we'll be able to enter switch hands, you know, make pick fetting easier. You can do genuine signs, and you can do cooler poses and stuff like that. So it's going to be very epic and game-changing. Next up, we have three more epic elites, guys. My God, Mattel is killing it with these. We got a Cedric Alexander on the far left, one of my favorite guys in the entire WWE, hands down, with a Cruiserweight Championship and interchangeable fists. That head scan looks great. I can already tell that it's going to be amazing. Cannot wait to see what attire they go with. Hopefully, it's WrestleMania with the Black Panther and purple-inspired attire. Uh, in the middle, we have Velveteen Dream, which is another very freaking sweet figure. I cannot believe we're getting a Velveteen Dream. Um, it's going to come with his glasses, an interchangeable hand, and then we have, of course, I hope he has his, uh, you know, his uh, Alistair Black. When he fought Alistair Black, I want that attire. That's the attire I hope, you know, has the portrait of Alistair and the portrait of Velveteen on the side. And then we have the freaking bruiser way, guys. We have Pete Dunn right there. I wish it came with the UK Championship, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, guys. That figure looks incredible. Pretty much a perfect figure. It looks like it's going to come with his vest. And, of course, he has his kick pads and all his good stuff. He's got his bruiser weight singlet on. And this is, this is just great. I'm so freaking happy for all these figures. Next up, guys, these figures are very interesting. We have an elite Shelton Benjamin and an elite Kurt Hawkins. But that's not all the news we have right here, guys. These are actually, you see the one on the far left and then the blue Kurt Hawkins. The white Shelton and the blue Kurt Hawkins, those are the regular... Elites, and then the uh, gold standard Shelton and the black Kurt Hawkins are chase figures. So if you guys collect Funko Pops or you know what those are, they are harder to find. They're rarer to find the chase pops are. So they're going to have chase elites in this set. So I guess the gold standard Shelton and the black Kurt Hawkins are going to be harder to find. So I am loving this. You know, makes toy hunts more thrilling. It makes collecting a lot more fun. And I cannot wait for this. Shelton Benjamin, one of my favorite all-time talents. So I, I, I am very, very much excited to see Shelton Benjamin in the flesh. And Kurt Hawkins as well. We're overdue for him for sure. And I cannot wait to see what these figures look like. Final product, of course, we'll have a current day Shelton and then a flashback Shelton. 
Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the first ever Ronda Rousey figure in her rowdy Ronda Rousey hot rod t-shirt. Looking great. Cannot wait to see what this looks like. The little face scan right here does look nice. I think that the final product will look even better, hopefully. Doesn't have her leather jacket just yet, but I'm sure that that will come in the future. So I'm excited to see Ronda Rousey. Next up, we do have the Undisputed Era Epic Moments Pack without their shirts. You know, we saw images of them with their shirts on, but here they are. I think all the body types and attires look great, so I cannot wait to see what this set looks like on final product. The hair here for Adam Cole is a little bit darker, but uh, the final product was lighter. Anyways... We have our next entrance greats figure right here, guys, which is going to be a WCW Goldberg, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's his WWE run because he had white outlines on his trunks. But here we have an entrance greats Goldberg with the big gold WCW championship looking great. And we have another entrance greats, which is the Elias figure. So it's pretty much a repaint of the Elite 60 Elias with white pants. I like that better. Better looking guitar and, of course, his stool. And I love his uh, wristbands as well. So those look great. And I cannot wait to pick up this Elias with our Goldberg. And then we have a ringside exclusive. I did not know this when we showed the figure earlier, but it is a ringside exclusive Matt Hardy, ECW champion. He's going to come with the first time in the line, ECW championship, a ECW microphone, and a black tank top. Great figure. I'll probably head swap this, but I do like the figure overall. Great looking figure. Cannot believe we're getting all these Matt Hardy figures. And speaking of Matt Hardy figures, we are getting a new epic moments for the final deletion Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, I'm assuming, will come with this set. We have the boat, we have a uh, you know a rower, and then we have a the mower of lawns, guys. We're gonna get a freaking lawnmower for our WWE action figures, and of course we have Vanguard One to throw in there as well to go with our Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy elite figures. Cannot wait to see what the box and all that looks like. Uh, I guess this is an early moment right here, but it is gonna be an epic moments. Figure line, and this is so crazy that we're getting this, guys. I am loving the attention to details with these epic moment sets. Next up, guys, it does look like we are going to be getting every member of Sanity. We have Nikki Cross, Alexander Wolf, and Eric Young right here. Fantastic set. I don't think they're all coming together, but they are going to be released later on, and it's going to be beautiful, guys. Pair these were our Killian and Dane figure that we saw in today earlier today's video, so this is going to be great, guys. We're going to have the full set of Sanity so early. I, I would have thought that this would take forever. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long, but we are getting a full set of Sanity, so we'll have Eric Young, Wolf, Nikki Cross, and Killian and Dane to put on our SmackDown Live rosters. Next up, guys, we do have three women's figures right here. We have Mandy Rose, Shayna Baszler, and Sonya Deville. So it seems like uh, Mattel is doing a really good job of trying to update all of our rosters, trying to get all the women in here. I think that's pretty impressive. We do have a few more that I'm going to show you, but I think it's so cool that we're getting Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, and Shayna Baszler all so very quick. So that's very, very cool to see. Cannot wait to see what these guys look like in Final Product, especially Shayna Baszler. And I'm guessing that Sonya Deville will probably be her white and rainbow attire, but who knows. Next, we have three more ladies figures, guys. We have Paige, Nia Jax with two or three interchangeable heads, and then, of course, Liv Morgan. This is what I was talking about, guys. So we have Liv Morgan, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler all getting their first figures. Very cool stuff to see. This is the best image I could find of this slide from Instagram. So I think all of these head scans and stuff look fantastic. They're doing a great job over at Mattel. Next, we have four more figures for you guys. We have a basic Sasha Banks right here in her 2018 Wonder Woman attire. Looking great. This is her Royal Rumble attire, I do believe. Looking great. Probably uh, going to be her best elite so far or her best figure. We have a basic Drew Gulak to go in our Cruiserweight division. Should be very easy to uh, you know, convert that into an elite, so I'm very excited about that. We have a flashback Undertaker from the early 2000s. Looking great. Cannot wait to see what that final uh, product looks like. We are going to get a hat and sunglasses with that. And then we have an elite Daniel Bryan with the Yes Chant hands, which is freaking beautiful. Cannot wait to see what that looks like. Cannot wait to see, you know, what attire we get with that. I would guess either WrestleMania 34 or the Royal Rumble is what I would, you know, project. But I guess we will have to uh, see in that or the greatest Royal Rumble, I should say. But I guess we'll have to find out. Next, we have three more figures for you guys. Early prototype images here of Bobby Lashley with an interchangeable head and his little Sami Zayn hat. 
a Ruby Riot with longer hair. You know, we saw the shorter hair version earlier in the day. And we have a WrestleMania 34 Mustafa Ali in his Sub-Zero attire. My God, guys, if they release that figure, I'm, I guess they are, apparently. But uh, if they have, like, you know, the light-up mask and the Sub-Zero attire, I cannot wait for that, guys. That is going to be such a sick figure to own and see. I know TJ from Undisputed Brother is very happy. You know, he said for a while now, ever since he saw that attire, he said he wanted that in figure form. So I guess he is going to get his wish. Next, we have some battle packs for you guys. We have Charlotte and Becky Lynch. I think Charlotte looks great. The head scan is probably her best head scan so far. Hopefully, when Becky's releases, it will be her best head scan because I don't like any of theirs. We also have the Miztourage right here. I think this is before they formed the B-Team, but it, yeah, I guess you could call this a B-Team battle pack if you wanted to. Updated Boat House and Curtis Axel. Thank God. We, I feel like we are way overdue for that. And we have the Singh brothers, Sunil and Sunir Singh, uh, coming out finally. So uh, I guess you compare these with your Jinder Mahal Elites, and this will look great as a set. I think we're way overdue for these guys as well. It seems like uh, they have been on the roster forever, but uh, we are moving on. Next, we have three flashback elites, guys. We have the Sensational Sherry. We have King Mabel. And we have the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. Not anything that I'm too interested in. I think it's pretty cool that we are going to be getting a King Mabel. Not too interested in Sherry. And Dusty Rhodes, we have seen a couple or two or three times before. So uh, it's not anything that I would personally want for real. But I'll probably pick them up anyways, to be honest. And last but not least, guys, I think this is the final thing I have for you guys. It is this WrestleMania 35 exclusive Asuka figure, if I'm not mistaken. You get all these masks and robe and all this different stuff. I believe this figure will be available at WrestleMania 35. So if you're going, I would definitely pick up this. One or two of them, you know, sell it online for a higher price, make a little profit off of it or something like that. But uh, this will be a cool figure. I'm sure my brother will most definitely pick it up. I do love this attire with the pink and blue or pink, pink and purple going on. Looks absolutely fantastic. So I am excited for this Asuka. I love Asuka. But I think this is the final figure I have to show you guys. Uh, I don't think there's very much else, if anything, but uh, I'm pretty sure I covered all the big stuff. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize that that other video did mess up when I was trying to upload it with the audio and all the trash. But... Uh, I'm trying to figure out a faster way to get these up because the process that I do right now is just way too long. takes way too freaking long. And uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.